Wow. Oh. <laughs> that is huge. That's wild. <laughs> The physical aspect is just completely unique. Oh. They're so good. I can't get over that. Funky in the front row. It's probably one of the most phenomenal headphone experiences I've ever had. Probably are the best headphones anyone's gonna hear. They might be the best headphones ever. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> best headphones ever, yeah? Well, we've bought them and we're gonna see, so you guys don't have to. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Welcome to the show. We're going to jump straight into this. In this box right here are the Neurophones. I think that is how you say it. And there are a set of headphones that are a kind of like in-ear headphones, but they're sort of over-ear headphones at the same time. And they've got really mixed reviews. There's people on there that are saying, you know, five stars, these are the best things ever. And people are saying, spend your money elsewhere. So we're going to check them out in today's video. Okay, so apparently this is not a headphone. I think these guys are trying to be a little bit edgy here. It's definitely a set of headphones, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a combination. It's a combophone. It's a combophone, a combination of the, of the in-ear headphone and the over-ear phone. <laughs> okay, so priced at 349 here in the UK, I've bought these off of Amazon. So what else could you get for that on the market? Well, you could get yourself a set of Sony Mark III's or the Bose 700s. So we're going to have to compare this to them. Hey, but so far, pretty nice box. I mean, I'm expecting big things. These weren't cheap. Okay, we're in this together, are we? Three, two, one. There we go. Do we have ourselves? Oh. Right, so that is a really, really nice carry case. That is really nice. Okay, so now I assume, whoa, okay. Okay, these do look pretty special. If you're unboxing these, there's no hiding from the fact that these do just look just a little bit mental. They look a little bit proby, don't they? It's a bit weird that. Don't know if I'm actually a fan of how this looks or what is about to happen in the next 10 minutes. It's probing time. Okay, so I'm gonna sit these back in the box for now and we'll just see what else we get. By the way, check this out. This feels like really, really weird. Not sure if we can get a close-up of that, but it looks so weird and feels, feels like cotton candy. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay, tiny, tiny little welcome pouch. Download the Neura app, put on your Neura phones and create your hearing profile. Sound. Okay, so we've got the app downloaded on my phone, but now we need to take a tour of the headphones to see what is actually going on with these things, to see what makes them a little bit special. And inside of this, there is annoyingly, and I've seen a lot of people complain about this online, a proprietary cable. Like, this is a proprietary thing, it's not USB or anything, and it terminates in a normal USB-A. So really annoying that we don't see USB-C on these things for such a high price. Annoying because headphone cables are usually something that you break, so if you do lose this or you do break it, you'll have have to buy another proprietary one and this probably isn't cheap. Okay, so here are some Neurofoam tips. It says small and medium, so I assume the large ones are pre-installed on the unit. Okay, that is literally everything bar these headphones. So what do I think of them so far? Okay, so metal chassis around here. Very, very nice build quality. Uh, we have a sort of, it's a soft rubber, but I feel like it could be a little bit softer. The headphones have a nice amount of adjustability, both sides, it's the same mechanism. Annoyingly though, they don't sort of fold up like my Bose 700s do. But other than that, they feel pretty robust. Like I don't think these things are gonna break. I think you'll be able to hammer them and they'll be okay, which is nice to see. So essentially these headphones, they're meant to sound absolutely amazing. They have active noise cancellation built into them. So that means that if you're on an aeroplane or in a room that has, let's say some aircon drone or a fan noise, it will, well, hopefully cancel that noise out, which is awesome. And it's obviously just the design of them. Like, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen a proper close up inside of here, but this does just feel really kind of strange. It's something like anything I've ever seen before. And this bit actually has to sit and make a seal in your ear. Okay, let's try them on. So, I don't know how, sort of... Okay, they just sort of slot into your ear holes. And then it's... That's it, it's done, that's, that's done. Okay, it does feel really, like, this does feel quite strange. Compared to a normal set of headphones, this is weird. I just feel like I'm being probed. 
Woo! <laughs> this feels really weird. Yeah, it kind of does feel a little bit proby. I'm definitely getting those vibes from this experience so far. Welcome to your neurophones. Before I can play music, I need to learn about your hearing. Sick! It's like it's literally taken over my life. It's like, you, you will say, say what, what I, I want you to say. say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they've come up in my Bluetooth menu in my phone, so I'm gonna try and get these connected. Hopefully, Bluetooth connected, apparently. Nice. Okay. So what it's doing is it's playing a strange sound into my ears to make sure that there's a secure seal around my ears. And it says it looks like the ear tips aren't creating a good enough seal around your ear canal, so I need to readjust. So far, really not as simple as just putting on a bog standard set of headphones. Okay, two ticks this time, it worked. Okay, now I've just got loads of different sounds coming through, it's making like loads of different strange noises. Sound effects, like robotic sound effects, like, This is taking a while, and it's asked me to stay really quiet, so I'm going to be quiet. It's still making really strange noises, and we've probably been doing this for about two minutes now. It's getting faster. <laughs> this, this shape keeps changing. I think this is my, my custom hearing profile. Still going. Ooh. Okay, all done. Your neuro hearing profile has now been created. Sick. Okay. So it's playing me a song now that I haven't chosen and what it's asking me to do is to click the button which is then going to turn on my custom hearing profile so hopefully by my facial expression you can see if it actually works or not. You see on here I have like a little toggle that says natural and then personalised so I'm going to give this a bit of volume and then... Okay. Immersion, your neurophones use over-ear drivers to create the feeling of a live performance. Adjust your preferred level of immersion below. Okay, I've got low to front row, so I'm gonna put it all the way. Okay, that's absolutely mental. I actually wasn't expecting that, to be fair. I actually was not expecting that. I really, really wasn't expecting that whatsoever. This is absolutely mental. Okay, so next up we've got social mode. Hear what is going on around you. Simply switch it on to social mode. Tap to try. Okay. Talk. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. I can hear everything. It's like being piped through. My own voice is being piped through. Say something. Just talk. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Uh, fine, yeah. And then if I turn it back to normal again, I can... Now talk. Nothing at all. Ah. Oh, okay, they're actually really cool. Okay, your neurophones have touch buttons on each side. You can configure the touch buttons to perform helpful functions. Okay, we're just gonna skip that. Okay, and here it says your neurophones automatically turn on and off when you use them. So you don't actually have to click any buttons. There's no physical buttons on these actually. They're all touch capacitive. Okay, I'm now gonna sit down and listen to some of my own music for five or 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, to take these things out of my ears for a second and talk about my experience for the last sort of five to ten minutes. So I threw myself straight into Spotify to listen to the music that I know and then I went on to Tidal to listen to some master stuff. I got some foals in there, got a little bit of logic in there. You guys know the standard, the standard stuff. Okay, so as you guys saw to start with, it created its own custom sound profile by playing a bunch of tunes in my ear for about two minutes. It really is like kind of an experience from the future, but so far can't quite put my finger on whether it feels a little bit gimmicky or not quite yet. So this is the application. As you can see, it says personalized or natural. I can go ahead and flick between these two things. And this is essentially an EQ that the headphones have made for my ears on the judgments of the sound effects that it played through my ears earlier. Not quite sure how it's judging this, but it's my own custom profile. And yes, to answer your question, it does sound slightly more enthusiastic. Now below that, as you can see, if you turn on the personalized sound, you then have this immersion mode slider which puts it from low all the way up to front row. Now essentially what this is doing is creating, and it seems like when it's on 
all the way to front row. A fake bass sound effect in your ears. The headphones are physically rumbling. Yes, it sounds absolutely fascinating, actually. And that is probably why you saw all the people in the advert going like this. Oh. Wow. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's absolutely mental. Now, I am a bass head. I have subwoofers literally everywhere in my kitchen when I'm listening to music. I've got them in my car as well. But this, well, if it was on any more than I would say three quarters of the way, this, yeah, it is bone shaking, or much rather head shaking. I don't think you're gonna have this turned up the whole way if you're wanting to enjoy listening to your music. It's definitely a gimmick. But Alex, cut to the chase, how do these things actually sound? Well, when they've got the personalised mode turned on or engaged, I think the sound to the majority of people would be pretty good, if not excellent. They sound nice and rich, tinny, they have lots of bass, if not too much bass when the slider is turned up all the way. However, if you're wanting a set of headphones purely for listening to music and you want to hear what the artist intended, I would go with something along the lines of a more normal set of headphones, like the Mark III's from Sony, or the QC35's, or the Bose 700s. Hundreds. I think you're gonna have a better listening experience with them without getting sort of probes in your ears. So Alex, what do you think of the headphones so far? What's the verdict? And well, I'll tell you this, it's a really interesting concept. I like how these things sound, I like the packaging of them. However, I think it's a bit of a gimmick. I wouldn't wanna sit on an eight hour flight with these in my ears. Maybe a half an hour commute to work, that'll be okay. I really think what Neurophone are trying to do here is really eye-opening. Do I think they've done it? I think they have. I think they've created a set of headphones here that physically when you put them on and listen to them for the first time with the immersion slider all the way up, you will get that wow factor. You will get that wow face. It will run and vibrate through your eardrums and you'll just be like, what is going on to my brain? However, on the flip side, the noise cancelling on these headphones is phenomenal. I love the fact that they turn on as soon as you put it in your ears and I love like the active feature. It has this little feature in the app that if you click this little button, now I can hear everything. It's being piped back through the headphones but as soon as I disable this, now I can barely even hear my own voice or any of this tapping. So the noise cancellation on these is killer. But now we need to thank our sponsor, NordVPN. If you guys don't know what a VPN is, it protects your privacy online. Now why would you want to do that, you're probably saying? Well, let me give you a few reasons. Have you ever been on Netflix and wanted to watch a show that's region locked? Let's say you're in the UK and you want to watch American Netflix. Well, with a VPN, you can just pretend you're anywhere in the world through NordVPN's thousands of servers they've got located throughout the world. So you just choose one of them, America, and then your computer or your phone or whatever you're using will just think it's in America. It's really clever stuff. So if you guys would like to get 70% off a three year plan and one extra month for free, please go to nordvpn.com forward slash techflow or use code techflow at checkout. So with that being said, this has been our little video on the Neurophones, a sort of first look. Yeah, I think these are kind of head turning and I think if you bought them, you kind of wouldn't really be disappointed if you like being probed, but I'll leave it at that. My name's been Alex, this has been Techflow and we'll see you in the next one. Guys, adios.